The Papal Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls Italian, Basilica Papale di San Paolo Fiori la Mura, commonly known as St. Paul's Outside the Walls, is one of Rome's four ancient, papal, major basilicas, along with the Basilicas of St. John in the Lateran, St. Peter's, and St. Mary Major. The basilica is within Italian territory and not the territory of the Vatican City State, but the Holy See owns the basilica, and Italy is legally obligated to recognize its full ownership and to concede to it the immunity granted by international law to the headquarters of the diplomatic agents of foreign states. James Michael Harvey was named archpriest of the basilica in 2012. Topic: History. The basilica was founded by the Roman Emperor Constantine I over the burial place of St. Paul, where it was said that, after the Apostle's execution, his followers erected a memorial, called a Sella Memoriae. The basilica which was consecrated by Pope Sylvester in 324, in 386, Emperor Theodosius I began erecting a much larger and more beautiful basilica with a nave and four aisles with a transept. It was consecrated in 390 by Pope Suritius. The work, including the mosaics, was not completed until Leo I's pontificate 440 -461. In the 5th century it was larger than the old St. Peter's Basilica. The Christian poet Prudentius, who saw it at the time of Emperor Honorius 395 -423, describes the splendors of the monument in a few expressive lines. Under Pope St. Gregory the Great 590 the basilica was extensively modified. The pavement was raised to place the altar directly over St. Paul's tomb. In that period there were two monasteries near the basilica, St. Aristus's for men and St. Stefano's for women. Masses were celebrated by a special body of clerics instituted by Pope Simplicius. Over time the monasteries and the basilica S clergy declined. Pope Saint Gregory II restored the former and entrusted the monks with the basilica. S care. As it lay outside the Aurelian walls, the basilica was damaged in the 9th century during a Saracen raid. Consequently, Pope John VIII (872 to 82) fortified the basilica, the monastery, and the dwellings of the peasantry, forming the town of Joannispolis (Italian: Giovannipoli), which existed until 1348, when an earthquake totally destroyed it. In 937, when Saint Odo of Cluny came to Rome, Alberic II of Spoleto, Patrician of Rome, entrusted the monastery and basilica to his congregation, and Odo placed Balduino of Monte Cassino in charge. Pope Gregory VII was abbot of the monastery and in his time Pontelion, a rich merchant of Amalfi who lived in Constantinople, presented the bronze doors of the Basilica Maior, which were executed by Constantinopolitan artists. The doors are inscribed with Pontelion's prayer that the doors of life may be opened to him. Pope Martin V entrusted it to the monks of the congregation of Monte Cassino. It was then made an abbey nullius. The abbot. S jurisdiction extended over the districts of Civitella San Paolo, Leprignano, and Nazzano, all of which formed parishes. But the parish of San Paolo in Rome is under the jurisdiction of the Cardinal Vicar. The graceful cloister of the monastery was erected between 1220 and 1241. From 1215 until 1964 it was the seat of the Latin Patriarch of Alexandria. On 15 July 1823, a workman repairing the lead of the roof started a fire that led to the near-total destruction of this basilica, which, alone among all the churches of Rome, had preserved its primitive character for 1,435 years. Pope Leo XII issued a document ad plurimas encouraging donations for reconstruction. It was reopened in 1840, and reconsecrated in 1855 in the presence of Pope Pius IX and 50 cardinals. The basilica was reconstructed identically to what it had been before, utilizing all the elements which had survived the fire. The complete decoration and reconstruction, in charge of Luigi Poletti, took longer, however, and many countries made their contributions. Muhammad Ali Pasha, viceroy of Egypt sent pillars of alabaster, the emperor of Russia the precious malachite and lapis lazuli of the tabernacle. The work on the principal façade, looking toward the Tiber, was completed by the Italian government, which declared the church a national monument. 
On 23 April 1891 the explosion of the gunpowder magazine at Forte Portuense destroyed the stained glass windows. On 31 May 2005 Pope Benedict XVI ordered the basilica to come under the control of an archpriest and he named Archbishop Andrea Cordero Lanza di Montezemolo as its first archpriest. Architecture and interior The covered portico that precedes the façade is a neoclassicist edition of the 19th-century reconstruction. The 20th century door includes the remains of the leaves from the original portal, executed by Storacius of Chios around 1070 in Constantinople, with scenes from the New and Old Testament. On the right is the holy door, which is opened only during the Jubilees. The new basilica has maintained the original structure with one nave and four aisles. It is 131.66 meters, 432.0 feet long, 65 meters, 213 feet wide and 29.70 meters 97.4 feet high the second largest in rome the nave's 80 columns and its stucco decorated ceiling are from the 19th century all that remains of the ancient basilica are the interior portion of the apse with the triumphal arch the mosaics of the apse work by pietro cavallini were mostly lost in the 1823 fire only a few traces were incorporated in the reconstruction the 5th century mosaics of the Triumphal Arch are original, an inscription in the lower section attests they were done at the time of Leo I, paid by Galla Placidia. The subject portrays the Apocalypse of John, with the bust of Christ in the middle flanked by the 24 doctors of the Church, surmounted by the flying symbols of the four evangelists. Saint Peter and Saint Paul are portrayed at the right and left of the arch, the latter pointing downwards probably to his tomb. From the inside, the windows may appear to be stained glass, but are actually translucent alabaster. The tabernacle of the Confession of Arnolfo di Cambio 1285 belongs to the 13th century. In the old basilica each pope had his portrait in a frieze extending above the columns separating the four aisles and naves. A 19th century version can be seen now. The nave's interior walls were also redecorated with scenes from St. Paul's life in two mosaics. The sacristy contains a fine statue of Pope Boniface IX. South of the transept is the cloister, considered one of the most beautiful of the Middle Ages. Built by Vassiletto in 1205-1241, it has double columns of different shapes. Some columns have inlays with golden and colored glass mosaics. The same decoration can be seen on the architrave and the inner frame of the cloister. Also visible are fragments from the destroyed basilica and ancient sarcophagi, one with scenes of the myth of Apollo. The tomb of St. Paul According to tradition, St. Paul's body was buried two miles away from the place of his martyrdom, in the sepulchral area along the Ostiense Way, which was owned by a Christian woman named Lucina. A tropium was erected on it and quickly became a place of veneration. Constantine I erected a basilica on the tropium's site, and the basilica was significantly extended by Theodosius I from 386 into what is now known as St. Paul outside the walls. During the 4th century, Paul's remains, excluding the head, were moved into a sarcophagus. According to church tradition, the head rests at the Lateran. Paul S tomb is below a marble tombstone in the basilica's crypt at 1.37 meters 4.5 feet below the altar. The tombstone bears the Latin inscription Paolo Apostolo Mart, to Paul the apostle and martyr. The inscribed portion of the tombstone has 3 holes, 2 square and 1 circular. The circular hole is connected to the tomb by a pipeline, reflecting the Roman custom of pouring perfumes inside the sarcophagus or to the practice of providing the bones of the dead with libations. The sarcophagus below the tombstone measures 2.55 meters (8.4 feet) long, 1.25 meters (4.1 feet) wide, and 0.97 meters (3.2 feet) high. The discovery of the sarcophagus is mentioned in the chronicle of the Benedictine monastery attached to the basilica in regard to the 19th-century rebuilding. 
Unlike other sarcophagi found at that time, this was not mentioned in the excavation papers. On the 6th of December 2006, it was announced that Vatican archaeologists had confirmed the presence of a white marble sarcophagus beneath the altar, perhaps containing the remains of the apostle. A press conference held on of December 2006 gave more details of the work of excavation, which lasted from 2002 to 22 September 2006, and which had been initiated after pilgrims to the Basilica expressed disappointment that the Apostle's tomb could not be visited or touched during the Jubilee year of 2000. The sarcophagus was not extracted from its position, so that only one of its two narrow sides is visible, a curved line of bricks indicating the outline of the apse of the Constantinian Basilica was discovered immediately to the west of the sarcophagus, showing that the original basilica had its entrance to the east, like St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. The larger 386 basilica that replaced it had the Via Ostiens the road to, Ostia to the east and so was extended westward, towards the river Tiber, changing the orientation diametrically. Abbots <inaudible> 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 The complex includes an ancient Benedictine abbey, restored by Odo of Cluny in 936. 1796 to 1799 Giovanni Battista Gualengo 1799 to 1799 Giustino Nuzzi 1800 to 1800 Giovanni B Gualengo 1803 to 1806 Stefano Alessandri 1806 to 1810 Giuseppe Giustino di Costanzo 1810 to 1815 Stefano Alessandri 1815 to 1821 Francesco Cavalli 1821 to 1825 Adeodato Galeffi 1825 to 1831 Giovanni Francesco Zelli 1831 to 1838 Vincenzo Bini 1838 to 1844 Giovanni Francesco Zelli 1844 to 1850 Paolo Theodolai 1850 to 1853 Mariano Falcinelli Antoniacci 1853 to 1858 Simplicio Papaletter 1858 to 1867 Angelo Pescatelli 1867 to 1895 Leopoldo Zelli Jacobuzzi 1895 to 1904 Bonifacio Oslander 1904 to 1918 Giovanni del Papa 1918 to 1929 Alfredo Ildefonso Schuster 1929 to 1955 Ildebrando Venucci 1955 to 1964 Cesario D'Amato 1964 to 1973 Giovanni Battista Franzoni 1973 to 1980 position empty 1980 to 1988 Giuseppe Nardin 1988 to 1996 Luca Colino 1996 1997 position empty 1997 to 2005 Paolo Lenardin 2005 to 2015 15 Edmund Power since 2015 Roberto Dada topic Archpriests topic Cardinal Andrea Cordero Lanza di Montezemolo the 31st of May 2005 to the 3rd of July 2009 Cardinal Francesco Monterisi the 3rd of July 2009 to the 23rd of November 2012 Cardinal James Michael Harvey the 23rd of November 2012 topic other burial topic Thibet of Ostia topic gallery topic topic see also topic Bible of San Paolo Fiori la Mura Wall, first wall around Vatican City List of Greco-Roman roofs topic Notes topic topic References topic topic Further reading topic Weitzman, Kurt, ed., Age of Spirituality, Late Antique and Early Christian Art, 3rd to 7th century, No. 439-440, 1979, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, ISBN 9780870991790 Hins Bolin, Bridget. Kunst and Architecture Rom. Cologne, Kohnmann. Rendina, Claudio 2000. Encyclopedia di Roma. Newton and Compton. pp. 867-868. Marina Docci, San Paolo Fiori la Mura, Dalle Origini alla Basilica della Origini Roma, Gongemi Editore 2006. Topic external links Topic The Papal Basilica St. Paul Outside the Walls, Official Site. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. St. Paul Without the Walls. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. St. Paul's Tomb Unearthed in Rome on National Geographic News, including a photograph of a side of the sarcophagus. The Tombs of the Apostles, St. Paul 3D Model of the Church Reliquary of St. Anne's Forearm Venerated in a Side Chapel.